Welcome to Discomfort's channel. We're gonna play some awesome games. Oh yeah! Hey everybody, I'm back with Clifford. Say hi, Clifford. Hey everybody, uh, just to let you know, I'm not sure what the hell we're doing, but I'm sure I'll find out as soon as you guys do. So Clifford is in charge today. He will be playing Slender because he hadn't played it. He don't even know what it is. I played it a lot, so it wouldn't be as effective on me. But I think uh, is, Cliff's... Is, is this more horror, man? Cliff's going to enjoy this. Is this horror? Cliff, you're going to enjoy this. This is horror, isn't it? Why don't you just... Uh, Play, you got the mouse control, you got your WASD. Okay, so basic stuff, and I'm guessing since this is probably a horror game, I can't do shit besides walk and look at stuff and pretty much. Stuff up. So, is there a jump button? No, there's a sprint, which I think is shift, but you only have a limited amount of sprint. And uh, so, the goal is you're gonna be walking around woods looking for sort of landmarks, and some of these landmarks are gonna have pages on them. And you're going to collect the pages. So the goal of the game is to collect the eight pages before the end of the game. Then it's the end of the game. You heard? I hear that, and I see a weird-looking tree. Well, then maybe you should walk up to that tree. Looks like that's probably not important. Okay, so this... Man, this seems very sort of open-ended. Like, eight pages in the woods. Sort of. So why don't you look around that tree, and you're gonna there's is a probability that they're not that tree, the big tree. There's a probability not that not that tree, the big scary tree, the one behind you. Oh, no, wait, not that one. Keep keep keep. Nope nope. Keep the one you just saw like 15 seconds ago. That's it. One page. Awesome. So does this slender thing have anything to do with Slender Man? Exactly. Okay, this is gonna be terrifying. Okay, that's good to know. Yep. Although I've not seen any of the Slenderman videos. Is this... So did the game come out before those videos, or what precipitated what? So, Slenderman began as a sort of made-up urban legend on... Uh... Something Awful forums? Something like that. And, uh... It then, you know, they, they made... Somebody made documentary series, and it's become this sort of bigger phenomenon online and it's become an urban legend in its own right even though everybody knows it's fictitious entirely even though they're it's, it's urban not based fictitious. on anything but yes it's it's a fabricated myth yeah and so this game came out six months ago maybe but uh it is a response to all of the above it's funny how the phrase fabricated myth seems like it's sort of yeah sort of sort of it's redundant. not Man, this dude walks slow as shit. Yeah, you can still sprint, but again, you, you won't be able to sprint for super long. And, but the sprinting friggin' he puts the flashlight down. Is this like a heavy-duty flashlight that he's, like, carrying on his shoulder? Probably. It's like, every time I hit shift, it's like, yeah, sprinting. It's a risk-reward thing. Like, if you're gonna be sprinting, they need to take something away. Well, this isn't too terrifying yet. Uh, it's probably because I don't really know anything about Slender Man. That would probably have, like, warned, been enough warning to be like, yeah, I don't want to fuck with this. But right now, it's just sort of dark and quiet. Well, it's you're not about like to amnesia, where everything is. That's true. Terrifying. It's it's different in atmosphere than amnesia, but uh, somewhere on these tanks, there. Is potentially Slender Man or a piece of paper? A page. And so if there's not a page on the tanks, there will probably be a page in the nearby building. Man! Oh my god! I feel like this game requires a significant amount of patience. Yes. Jesus. But of course, that's the classic Silent Hill, there you go, kind of thing where, uh, you know, they want you to be unempowered 
so that it's more frightening. Always watches no eyes. So, does Slenderman come out to kill me once I get X many pages? Sort of. Like, the more pages you get, the more likely he is to show up. Because he is an entity within the world, and he, like, chases you, and he becomes faster as you get gather more pages. Oh, shit just got real dark. Turn left. Turn more left. Are you trying to kill me, Kevin? No, just turn... So, over there on your left is a building, and somewhere in the... Oh, you're, you're oh. To, you might want to go away. Oh, shit! Click to continue. The fuck was that? Oh, there's a uh, Mythos option. So let's, let's leave the Sl Slenderman Mythos. There's a YouTube series, there's other vlogs, blogs. So, what will clear this? Let's Marble Hornets is the more famous one, I think. Oh, I just bounced you out to yeah, that's real what, YouTube. That, that's what I figured is. Go back, go back to the game. Go down to the taskbar and go back to the game. Let's see where it's the one on the far right. All right, bounce out of this. Oh, hold up. We don't have video. You bounced out, and now we don't have video. We have video again. Start game. All right, guys, we're back with Clifford. Say hi, Clifford. Hey, everybody. That was that was kind of terrifying. All I'm, right. I'm guessing this is one of those. It does not save your progress. It's no, you're gonna restart. But at least now you know the gist of the game. So we'll give you another run at it and see how you do. Collect all eight pages. So what is your experience with scary games, Clifford? Um, I tend not to fuck with that shit, because that shit's terrifying. Is it I because you're an Afro-American? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not a legitimate, like, anthropological term, and I feel like if you don't censor that, you're gonna get, like, shit tons of dislikes. Like, because one dude's gonna be like, oh my god, this guy's racist, everyone come and dislike this shit. Well, that's a possibility. But... No, as Cat Williams said, black people never discover animals because we're too cautious. It's like, like, is that is that a is that a Rockwell or is that a bear? Let's either way, let's get the fuck out. It's like, no, yeah, because it's like last last time we tried to do some Go to the big exploring tree. shit. Go to the big tree. That shit did not to the, to the right. That shit did not right there. Nope, to the left, right there. I'm just saying, like. You people seem to be real afraid of ghost stories and stuff. I mean, well, I would say as long as I'm you ain't carrying your peace. I would say I'm for. Well, I'm not really afraid of ghost stories. I just I don't like interactive horror because it's sort of because like, it's interactive and there's a sense where I am more there and. Yeah, like, like if you're watching a movie, you can close your eyes and then it, it's over. If you're playing a game... You can close yeah, your it, eyes it, and, <laughs> and lose the game, but it's still terrifying. It doesn't end until you actively go off into the wild frontier. Well, then what is your favorite piece of horror media? Favorite piece of horror media? Um... Hmm, that is a good question. I had a discussion with a friend of mine about how horror, it's at least in the West and in America more specifically, is just shock horror and so it's not really horror. Like that movie Hostel, it's like, I don't even think there was a plot to that. It was like, oh, these guys are in Europe and now they're being tortured. It's yeah, like, that's where the term gornography comes from. I like, thought we just called it torture porn. Like, cause that's, that's another, another one. I prefer gornography because it's a clever little pun. <laughs> but yeah, so that that stuff just gets boring, especially since our generation's so desensitized to violence at this point. It's just sort of like played out. 
Okay, so now that I have just one page, I'm at this building again. If I go to this building with one page, will Slenderman fucking be like, bitch? Well, there's no one situation where he will show up. Like, he's a dynamic thing out there chasing you. And so he will show up more or less randomly depending on a number of factors that are entirely related to, uh, like, your movement speed and ha having your flashlight on and how many pages you have and just relative locations in the world and all that kind of stuff. But uh, there's probably something in that building. You better go back. There are a number of rooms throughout here that each one could potentially have a uh, page. Each one could potentially have a Slenderman. So, Kevin, you've played this game enough, I'm sure, that... Are all the pages... Do the Are there locations that are randomized? So, or is it all yeah, fixed? there are... It's a fixed world with, I think, ten landmarks. And this building counts as a landmark. Okay, so it's ten choose eight. And, yes, eight will have a thing... And some of them, like, I think the room that has a page in this building gets randomized. <clears throat> Stuff like that. Yeah! So, but does Slenderman always appear in the same way with that fuzzy, fuzzy... Oh, there he is, bitch. Well, the fuzzy fuzzy bit <clears throat> is the result of looking at him too long. So, like, there starts to be static on the screen when he appears on screen, which, before he was sort of off to the left of your field of view, so I don't even know if you noticed him. No, I did not. I was like, but what? he shows up, and then if you look at him for too long, he uh, that's the end of the game is when the, the static face shows probably up. probably rapes you. Yep. And kills you. Yep. Probably not in that order. But, uh, yes, if you see Slender Man, or if you get the static on your screen, it's best to, like, turn around, and that'll go away. But he'll still be, like, following you. There's another page. Can't run. I'm just gonna sprint. See how long the sprinting... So, is there a point when the sprint runs out, you stay in sprint mode, but you just start sprinting? Um, yeah, like, after five seconds or whatever, like, your character runs out of breath, and there's, like, a recharge before you can sprint again. So then, Cliff, if you don't like gornography... What kind of for th th then I'm s that's still a good question. I'm trying to think of what like are you into uh, sort of hor like like the Asian psychological stuff? Like if there is a horror I like, it is psychological horror. But the thing like and once again it's sort of inter like the interactive thing is what gets me. But yeah. I like psychological thrillers in general, like which is why Death Note is awesome, and which is why I also like certain like there are certain elements of Code Geass that are really awesome. But Oh, you mean the worst anime of all time. You know that's just not true. But, anyway, as far as my favorite piece of horror media, uh, it's just... Horror is something I don't really indulge that much in, but, like, I can, like, I can appreciate what Amnesia does, it's just... I'm not playing that shit. I, I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just cry. But, and I think that's really where horror, good horror media is going at this point is freaking um, video games like, mainly independent video games, but okay, you, you know fucking, oh Jesus, Jesus turn around, fucking oh, Jesus, no, no, no just no, keep no, running, oh God, just keep running I don't see Slenderman quick glance behind you no I'm just gonna look at the sky because I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're perfectly safe. But yeah, you you know the was it a Hitchcock movie, Rear Window? Yeah, I think that might have been Hitchcock. The remake of that with fucking Shia LaBeouf, Disturbia. 
Or mm -hmm. was it called Disturbia? Something like that. I never saw it. I, I enjoyed that movie. Although the original's probably better, because that tends to be how these things go in this day and age. But that was that was some psychological horror, or horror just in general. I really could appreciate. Cool. As far as like horror, like Saw, that's just that's torture porn or gornography thing. And gornography has its place, but that place is long gone. Like when we were when America started streaming lots of war footage, like the stuff at Vietnam, we got really desensitized to violence, and so it's like. Oh, I can't... House on the Left. That was like the first big piece of gornography cinema. And it's like, it was needed because there's a point where you have to see at what point can you just pump violence and gore and very sort of, like, overt, like, things into people's brains until they say, that's enough. And turns out you can pump a lot of stuff because we get desensitized. Certainly. Especially in the internet age, which is basically a worldwide project desensitization. Yep. Which is why... Like, and that's probably why we see this slight resurgence of real horror in certain forms of media. Because people are knowing, like, wait, oh, just showing people getting castrated doesn't scare people anymore? It's like, nope. Oh, so now we actually have to use psychology to develop horror. In fact... I wish, like, we had, like, a psych of horror class at my school, but that'll probably never happen. Yep. But Silent Hill is also good, but once again, it's just, I will, I will cry, Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Jesus! I love how you, you're not even seeing Slenderman, you're just freaking out about the static. Well, I don't want to see this, hoe. I, I, I really don't. Faceless... Faceless rapist? Like, that's just that's just terrifying. Yeah, that's an idea I can get behind. Man, and that fucking sounded like I was supposed to see him, like, cause I heard a dong. Dong. Shit. <sighs> well, that was that, Cliff. How are you feeling about Slender? This is a good game. This is actually a very good game. It's just balls hard because the character's slow and it's dark. Well, there is a certain strategy to successfully completing it, and perhaps we'll come back to Slender. But for now, I think two rounds of that is good enough at freaking you out a little bit. So we're going to call it a day. But I will say it is a bit more tame than Amnesia because Amnesia, they just... They're freaking you the fuck out the entire time. Oh, Rizzo. Still in commander seat, or what's happening? Whatever works, bro. Well, then I will click that quit button. Tune in next up to this conference channel. We might finish building that one thing in Minecraft, but probably not. We might play Oblivion instead of some audio serve or something new. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Rain, comment, 